engineering, sculpturing, decorating, arts and crafts, textile and felt processing, hunting, falconry, smithworks and jewellery take care of our national identity in the CAS Art Programme. Сергей Камуков театр хабарасында жұмыс жасап жүріп, ол көп деген туындыларын осы театр тақырымен байланысты болды. Мысалы, ұлы костюмердің қыздар деген... While working at the theater, the artist devoted many works to the topic connected with theater. For instance, the ladies of the great costume series of works. This work that was done in 1946 is one of the paintings from those series. From this painting, we can see not Сергей Калмыков, who used to paint in the realistic approach, but we can see his own original style. Here we can see that he did not limit himself with a real view of the world, but also touched another dream world that he had in his ideas. If we look at the second view, we can see the boat. So in this work, the artist created an amazing composition connecting the real life and dream world. Sergei Kalmykov was born in Samarkand in 1891. Soon the Kalmykov family moved to Orenburg and the artist graduated the gymnasium in the city. Kalmykov's works in the history of the world of art are distinguished by the unique and irreplaceable masterpieces. Also it is worth noting that Sergei Kalmykov has founded the style called Fantastic Expressionism. In Kazakh fine arts, one of the extraordinary occasions was the creative work of Sergei Kalmykov. He was a student of the famous Russian avant-garde artist Petrov Vodkin and another famous artist Dobuzhinsky. Sergei Kalmykov was one of the artists who distinguished himself by his choice of themes and writing style in Kazakh fine arts. He came for the first time to Kazakhstan in 1935, following the invitation of composer Yevgenia Brusilovsky, he started to work as a director painter for the newly opened Opera and Ballet Theater, which is now named after Abai in Almaty. Kalmykov lived in Moscow from 1909 to 1910 and had lessons on painting and architecture. Especially the time spent in St. Petersburg takes a special place in Kalmykov's works. The artist created his famous work called Red Horses on the bank of the river Neva. Since Sergei Kalmykov was a famous artist, there are many stories related to him and his works. For example, according to one of them, which is related to his work called Red Horses, created in 1911. According to some researchers, Kalmykov's work called Red Horses inspired his teacher Petrov Vodkin to paint his famous work called The Bathing of the Red Horse. We do not know if this is a true story, but it seems so. The artist's works are closely connected with the ex-musical and today academic opera and ballet theater after a buy. While working as a decorator and painter at the theater, he also created his masterpieces in different genres. In general, we can say that Kalmykov is an innovative artist who brought new breath to the Kazakh fine arts. Mainly, we could note that Sergei Kalmykov brought the abstraction direction to the Kazakh arts for the first time. We had also actively worked in the realism direction. He used a wide variety of techniques in depicting the scenes from real life. For example, in the beginning of his creative path, he worked in the realism direction and created small etude works and then later he made fantastic compositions by mixing the realism and fantasy. 
Sometimes the romantic tune works can also be found among other of his works. Did not only Kalmykov actively search for new ideas in composition and themes, but also mix various materials in his works. He also paid attention to the format of his works. He left his own portraits in oval formats. Sometimes the viewer is amazed by his works, but sometimes he is also embarrassed, because they look as if things were difficult to understand. Anyone can find something close to him from his works. There is high interest in Kalmykov abroad, which is not surprising, because his life resonated with other famous masters of his time. Secondly, Kalmykov was a person with his own worldview and dreamed a lot, living in his own world of fantasies. For example, in his work dedicated to Leonardo da Vinci's studio, he painted himself as if sitting at his lesson, because he regarded him as his teacher. So we see here that the time period and storyline are all confused and mixed. Such works can usually be done only by a genius artist like Kalmyko. We've already said that Sergei Kalmykov's works take a special place in Kazakh fine arts. He's the first Russian artist who brought abstraction, fantasy and other directions into the Kazakh arts. It is obvious that his growing environment played a big role in his formation as such a talented artist. For example, the years he spent studying at the Zvanseva studio in Orenburg, the artistic environment in St. Petersburg and his teachers, Petrov Vodkin, Dobuzhinsky, all of this influenced a lot of his standing as a great artist. Almaty residents of that time knew Kalmykov as an extraordinary artist who lived in his own world, because Kalmykov lived in a world that he created in his mind. The art was the form of living for him. We could say that the creativity and art were the approaches he used to relief from inner tortures that took place in his fantasy, mind and soul. The artist's sorrows related to loneliness can be seen in his works. He had worked for many years in musical theater, and he made a colorful jacket, a coat from theater decorations, and made a hat from velvet. This way he used to walk on city streets, surprising other people who thought it was strange, while living in his own special world. The artist wrote in one of his memoirs that one bright thing came out suddenly from the crowd walking along the street. That was me who went onto the street. And in fact, he was not like others and lived in the world only he knew. However, his works look realistic and his characters are close to the viewers. We can characterize Sergei Kalmykov as one of the groups of artists that tried to show the audience, the artists in Kazakh fine arts, to think differently and express their ideas in other ways. During that time, when artists drew following one big format, using one specific technique and praising the socialist mirror of society, suddenly one artist, different from others, thinking differently, came out. He starts to express all that he experiences straight on the white paper, not following any composition rules or techniques. For sure, it is true that he is an educated and knowledgeable painter and knows how to correctly make a composition. However, all his works are chaotic. But when you look at this chaos, you can still find a systematic logic there. 
неправильно. Но вместе с тем, глядя на многие его полотна, мы сначала видим вот этот хаос изначальный. Но все это как-то приведено в очень стройную систему. Поэтому мы и говорим об отдельном мире художника. Kalmykov is an artist who managed to handle all fields in fine arts. He's also used etching that was not used by many artists. His works done in different years, such as at circus, allegory, youth Olympics, evening paysage, Medeo are kept at the Kastev Museum. The artist left more than 1,500 works done in different genres and techniques. Музей имени Абухана Костеева обладает наиболее полной коллекцией собраний его произведений. The Kastev Museum has the fullest collection of his works. It happened such way that the museum workers were the first who came to his studio after his death. They thoroughly and carefully collected his works and sent them to the state archive for disinfection. The works connected to Orenburg in Russia were sent to the Orenburg Museum. At the moment, they are being studied and kept there. Sergei Kalmykov was very talented and we can see here his works in the realism genre and his fine arts. Мы даже вот в этой экспозиции можем наблюдать, как работал и в реалистической манере, да, работал в живописи. Көптеген тәжірбе эксперимент жасап, осы өнер саласында өнерге сонша берілгенді, сонша арнайы жаңа тәсілдерді ойлап табады. Соның үшінде, мысалы, графикаты ол... He was so committed to the arts that he even made various experiments, testing to come up with new techniques. For instance, in graphics, he created the approach called engraving on cardboard and made his many works using this technique. Sergei Kalmykov's special masterpieces are his works done in fantasy landscapes. While painting such works, the painter tried to create various compositions by combining the real-life scene with a fantasy phenomenon. You can see fantasy compositions even at his still-life works and other genre works. In general, Sergei Kalmykov believed that in harmony there is a beauty. He won the fight to find inner harmony, synchronization in any work he did. That he reached the bright color harmony in any of his compositions through the background, color, tone and texture. Kalmykov worked at today's Abai Opera and Ballet Theater till he retired. In this work, the artist illustrated the building of the theater that was evident of his artistic life. Это была не только его творческая лаборатория, творческая мастерская, это была его семья. И поэтому мне бы очень хотелось остановиться на этой работе театра оперы и балета имени Абая 1947 -го года, где Сергей Калмыков предстает несколько необычным, может быть, для зрителей. It would be true to say that this building was the workplace, studio and the family of the artist. That is why I want to draw special attention to the painting describing this building that was made in 1947. The artist that was always distinguished by his original works showed himself from another angle in this work. In general, Sergei Kalmykov is an artist that masterfully managed realism genre art. This is the approach that is close to the orders and rules. From this work, we can see the monumental and beautiful buildings standing out from the famous Almaty trees. Here the artist has shown the theater building as a center of art. If you remember, in the 1940s, people who came to Almaty enjoyed staying in this green city. The nature of the city and the hospitality of the residents amazed the visitors. Maybe that is why many artists decided to stay in this city. Kalmykov's works have not still been studied from the scientific side. However, it is obvious that his works will still drive attention of the audience with their unrepeatable nature 
and pass from generation to generation as our heritage.